$25,000 Breeders' Crown elimination. Here they come. Heather off Sanibel Island, and Steve Warrington trying to send her to the front, but Luke Willett has the whip out on Tattoo Hanover, and she steps out there. Aquatic Yankee on the inside, leaves alertly for Miller around the first turn, and it's Tattoo Hanover. Sanibel Island sweeps up on the outside, and Breeze is on by. Tattoo Hanover settles in second now. Aquatic Yankee got away third. Delta Shuttle is fourth. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is fifth past the quarter. Then it's Hawaiian Flash and Cinder Best. Opening quarter for Sanibel Island. A snappy 26 and three. Tattoo Hanover second as they swing off the turn and go down the back stretch. Aquatic Yankee in the third spot. Delta Shuttle is fourth, heading towards the half. Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is fifth. Hawaiian Flash is sixth and Cinder Best is seventh. They're single file, and they march towards the half mile. Sanibel Island in control. Tattoo Hanover in the second spot, a perfect trip for her. Aquatic Yankee bides her time third, takes a peek there. To edging to the outside, Delta Shuttle. She'll go first up for Campbell, flushed out by Hawaiian Flash, grabs the cover, second over fifth now. And then it's Mercy, 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 and Cinderbest gets underway. And a half, just 55 and two. They crawl that second quarter, Sanibel Island. Slowing things down now, we'll get some pressure from Delta Shuttle and Campbell on the outside, first over. Tattoo Hanover is in the pocket, will need out. A wine flash and Dubé second over as they pass three quarters. Pierce with Cinder Best, third over, looking poised there. Aquatic Yankee is locked in, and then it's Mercy, 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 trying to do it from the back. Three quarters, 124 and one in the stretch drive. Sanibel Island, Delta Shuttle on the outside, won't go away, off cover. Hawaiian Flash on the outside, and Dubé urging her on. She takes the lead. Locked in is Tattoo Hanover. Here comes Cinder Best charging up on the outside. Hawaiian Flash, Cinder Best. Aquatic Yankee looks to split mares down to the wire. It's Cinder Best getting up. Cinder Best over Hawaiian Flash. Aquatic Yankee third, 152. Number seven, Cinder Best, a brown mare, a four-year-old by Cam Best out of Sunrose, Hanover by Albatross, owned by Thomas Edwin, Gerdeman, and Elaine, and Robert Loff. Trained by Jeff Miller, winning driver Ron Pierce. It's her second straight victory against Open Company here at the Meadowlands. Cinder Best with a mile tonight of 152 off a victory in 150 and two-fifths on July 6th. A supplemental entry for the Breeders' Crown. And she rallies home off cover tonight for Ron Pierce, the stablemate to the outstanding Eternal Cam Nation. She pays $8, $4.40, and $3. Number five, Hawaiian Flash, $22.40, and $6.20. One, Aquatic Yankee, $2.80. Exact is $7.5, $191. 5 one Trifecta, $488. Post time for the fourth race in 16 minutes at 8.31. Breeders' Crown Elimination for Open Mares. All horses from the Stakes Barn. Exacta Trifecta Superfecta Wagering. Race 5 Driver Change for 3. Goliath Biama, Jim Morrill Jr. No changes in the 6th race start of the pick 4. Guaranteed pool of $50,000. Oh, she, she can really go. She's not very big, but uh, uh, she really can go fast, easy. Last start, when she went 50-2, and two, was that the deciding factor? Did you tell the connections that maybe she might be up to this? Uh, I didn't say anything. I, I just left it up to them. Uh, and uh, um, they decided to put her in. I'm real glad they did. What kind of trip she wind up with tonight? Uh, we, we got away in the back, and we were falling along. Nice, smooth uh, third over trip. And in the deep stretch, you have to get after her? She's doing it on her own? Uh, I, ch I chased her a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Can she handle the uh, likes of Eternal Cam Nation and those kind of yeses, trues in the final, you think? I would like to to think so. Um, they just beat her length and a half, the three starts back or two starts back. So I, I think, uh, you know, with the right trip, she, she might be all right. Okay, Ron Pierce, he's been there with some great mares before, Shady Daisy and the like. Jeff Miller's got a great one coming up, but for now, Cinder Best is in. 40,000 supplement. How difficult was it for that decision, especially considering that your other horse is probably the one to beat? <laughs> well, on my part, it, uh, it did a lot of begging to, to put her in, because uh, I really think she has a legitimate shot to race against these mares. Uh, and it took a while to convince the owners to put it up. But uh, I think they're going to be tickled with this prelim, and, and it'll be a good tightener for her for next week. When did you think that, you know, maybe she might be up to this caliber? Well, She's always been a nice mare, especially if you can, uh, like Ron did tonight, one mover. Uh, you know, she can step with, you know, pretty good. 
she just never really has gotten the chance to race against uh, these good mares and get a good trip. You know, we started off in bad foot in Canada and, and got kind of roughed up pretty good, and she wasn't ready for that bunch, but I, I think she is now. Internal Cam Nation has a race in three weeks. Any worse for the wear coming up? Uh, no, you, most of the time she's pretty good off a little break, uh, but she hasn't had to pace in 50 all the time either, so uh, I think she'll need to race as a tightener, and I hope she has enough, in the ga enough gas in the tank to get to the final. Are we going to see you here after the next race, too? Oh, I sure hope so. Okay, Jeff Miller, the Connections. Cinder Best has gone winner here in the first elimination.